My name is John Rourke, and I'm the assistant program specialist for uh, Acre Recovery Center in Watertown, New York. Uh, we're doing uh, some short videos on how to uh, um, be a little more comfortable working in your kitchen. I know some of you are uh, doing more cooking at home for our uh, friends and family uh, during these trying times. And uh, our last video was working with children, and we'll be working with my assistant Molly again today. today we're uh, talking about healthy alternatives for uh, snacks. Uh, I know a lot of people like to get fresh fruit and things like that, and uh, they're more comfortable using some of our canned products. Uh, today we work with pineapple. Now here we have pineapple chunks, which is great. It's a dull product here. That's wonderful. And um, the only issue is that sometimes these uh, these canned products may contain uh, some unseen sugars and things that we don't quite need in our in our uh, in our diets. Um, right now, a cup of fresh uh, pineapple is 82 calories, where a, uh, a cup of canned is uh, ranging de depending on the size between 140 and 150 calories per cup. So uh, I've always said fresh is better. So we're gonna take the mystery out of this is like, how do you pick fresh fruit? And what some of our comments, they wanted to say, hey, how can I tell if this is fresh? Well, you can pick it up, you feel it, you can squeeze it, you ask it, are you fresh? Well, what you can really do is when you're in your grocery store and you come up and you wanna know how this pineapple is fresh, what you wanna do is you wanna reach inside and grab one of those little fronds be careful to reach inside because they can be a little picker. Uh, can be, have a little prickers on the end of them. And my assistant uh, Molly here is gonna see if this pineapple is fresh. Yep, and it popped right out. So in the grocery store, you pop that out. You say, "Hey, it's fresh," and you put it in your cart. Now, when you get it home, you're like, "Well, how do I cut this up, John?" It seems a little scary, a little daunting. And a lot of a lot of families don't have these specialized knives and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate using just a regular serrated knife, which most people have in the house for cutting bread or things like that. So what we wanna do is we wanna make this pineapple flat because cutting anything at a round surface can be a little dangerous. So what we wanna do is we're gonna lay it down, hold it still, we've washed our cutting board, we've washed our hands thoroughly, and we cut just below that crown. And then we turn it, and then we cut just below the base. And what that does is it makes a nice, steady surface to cut on. If you're interested, you can take this crown, bury it in dirt up to about here, and you can actually grow your own pineapple uh, plant. It's true. Because deep inside this crown is actually the seed. And I can actually show you really quick. And here in the center, you'll see that little piece that's actually the seed that grows inside there. So if you were to plant this, you would actually get a plant. Um, so, uh, uh, going on here, we'll just get this wipe with our cleansing solution and our soapy water, nice clean surface. Now it's flat, it's easy to work with, you have a firm grip on your knife, okay? What I wanna see you do is hold this down, keep your fingers turned in away from the blade, and you follow the curve of the pineapple. And all you do is take little bites, don't go too deep, and you'll see you're getting all those little brown spots. If you happen to miss, that's okay, you can go right back and finish it off. And you'll see there's some of these little brown bits here. We can go a little bit deeper and get those out. Awesome. And then keep moving, and again, you just do it in a circle, following the curvature. And what I like to do is I like to have a bowl next to my cutting boards, that way I can pick up any of my trash, I get it off the cutting board because I don't want any of these ending up in my molds. Um, what you want to do is now, we nice flat surface, you'll see in the center is the core. It's very hard. That's why when you buy those canned pineapples, they cut the core out of those rings. It's because it's a little chewy. You can still eat it, but a little chewy and not, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. So what you want to do is you want to remove that. So what you do is you cut on either side of that core and you lay it flat and you'll see right here the core is right here in the center all you do is just cut straight down and you remove it you toss it away then you turn this again cutting on a flat surface and you bite it and you cut it into bite-sized chunks and then you just put it in the bowl with your larger pieces you again, you want to lay it flat, 
just pull your knife through. You're not hacking down, you're using the knife. Watching your fingers, turn it, and now you have bite-sized chunks. Now you can use toothpicks, you can give them to your kids like this whole. It's delicious, it's good for you, it has a lot of fiber, it's a little high in carbohydrates. So you want to be careful if you have anybody working with it, you may have some challenges with that. But you can hold everything in moderation. And then you take your second piece. And there you have it, folks. You have fresh cut pineapple for your friends and family. It's good for you. Vitamin C, fibers, uh, no, high, no high fructose corn syrup. And uh, this will last covered in your refrigerator for about three to four days. Um, and with that, I'd like to thank you for watching my videos. Just remember that Anchor Recovery Center is here for you. And uh, if you have any, uh, any questions, we, you can always reach out to us on our Facebook page, on our website, and also our new Instagram site as well. So I want to thank you again, and um, have a great day. Bye.